Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Manshed. Right, this is probably going to be the quickest uh, video I've ever done. It's not a review as such, it's just a, an answer to a question. Just today, um, there was a posting on the MG Owners Club, MG EV, uh, Electric Vehicle Owners Club, um, about the sound of the pedestrian alert. As you probably know, uh, electric vehicles by law are supposed to have a alert sound that comes on, I believe it's below 20 miles an hour or below 30 miles an hour. And it's a pedestrian alert for um, for blind people and uh, people with um, visual difficulties to alert them to the presence of an electric vehicle. Um, it is um, user selectable in the menu on or off but it also always defaults back to on every time you turn the uh, the car on or off to the equivalent of the ignition switch on or off so as you said off it is defaulted to be on you would have to manually select it off uh, but like i say by law is is supposed to be on um, but a lot of the owners were saying that they can't tell any difference well it must be that it's either not working or that the connector has come off because there definitely is a difference so I thought I'd just video it so uh, I've just been outside set up my little microphone on a tripod to try and be like as level with the, the speaker as I can and just pull up to the house at 20 miles an hour with it on and with it off so I'll show you that very shortly and I'll also show you the location of the plug and the sounder under the bonnet so you can check the connection so uh, without further ado let's go into them tests now and see if you can hear the difference So I've set up the microphone on the tripod there and it's about the, the same height as the sounder so I've tried to get it as close to where it, it will be on the vehicle as it pulls up as possible. So um, I'll shut up now if you listen very very carefully you will hear it uh, the sound from quite a way off. And just as I was going to uh, record the silent bit with the sounder off, this is the sound uh, picked up. A uh, flipping police car or something around the corner. I thought I'd leave that in to just show uh, how typical things can be. Right, so here it is pulling up with the sounder turned off. And uh, one more time without the police siren. One thing I hadn't noticed from driving is all the uh, the sounds like uh, air sounds like air brakes on a on a truck. So uh, I'm not too sure what that one is. It's nothing to do with the uh, the pedestrian alert, that's for sure. One more time with the sounder back on as I uh, as I pull it up the drive.
Okay, so this is the location of the sounder, the pedestrian alert sounder. It's over here, I'll show you in great detail soon. But first of all, that's what I first thought it was. Down there, this uh, round thing that looks like a horn, I thought it was a, the uh, pedestrian sounder, and it's not. It is indeed the horn. Uh, I disconnected that and I papped the horn and I could still hear it. So I thought, oh, can't be the horn. But uh, the reason I could still hear it was there is another one over on that side there as well. So it's a twin horn. So, um, yeah, two horns giving you that sort of like two, two tone sort of sound at once. Are your horns the actual plug? for the pedestrian alert is that plug there you can just see the white wire going into the top it's actually a black and white striped wire and underneath it is a green wire with a brown stripe now that is the plug in situ it's not pushed fully home but that is it how it goes and to release it there is a button painted yellow on the front facing the very front of the car it's really hard to uh, show on here but facing the front here there is a yellow button and that's the button you need to push in. And then as you pull the plug out, that is the plug. It's uh, when it's in place, the two pins are vertical and it's just that little plug at the end. You can see the button you need just about there. I'll get some pictures of this with me stills camera. And I'll make it even clearer. But it is an absolute pig to get that to, to get your fingers on that button and pull it. I had to use a pair of uh, pin nose pliers. So if you can sort of squeeze it with a pair of pin nose pliers, again I'll try and show you that in the picture, and uh, then pull it out. That's the plug to the sound of this thing here, this square. Thing here is the actual pedestrian alert sounder. So uh, I'll show you them pictures now and uh, try and make it a bit clearer. So this is a close up of the plug. It's lying on its side there. In normal, when it's attached to the um, the actual sounder, that's orientated vertical. So them two pins are vertical, and that yellow paint, that blobby yellow paint between the two sticking out fins that is then facing the front of the car and that is the tab that you have to squeeze to pull that plug off now if you look on this one i used a pair of pin nose pliers as you can see i'm squeezing it with the pin nose pliers there to show you exactly where to squeeze and i found that if i did that and then pulled them i uh, i could pull the plug forward but until you actually get that tab squeezed thoroughly in that plug will not come out, but uh, like I say, it is in a really awkward position with that um, tab orientated towards the, the front of the car. The actual position you see there with the pins vertical is the position you'll find the plug when it's attached to the sounder. And if you do squeeze and pull, pull it there, um, eventually it did come off. So I'm only saying this for... Um, information purposes i'm not advocating removing that plug um, because it is illegal i believe to uh, not have the pedestrian alert so don't uh, think i'm advising you to uh, remove it i'm not i'm just saying that is exactly where the plug is and how it comes on and off okay so there you have it so uh, i could clearly hear the difference uh, and i hope you could to. so uh, if you can't on your car just check that plug under the bonnet uh, it just looks like a car horn i uh, showed you where it was located 
if that is connected and it's still not making any difference on or off um, there's something wrong somewhere you'd have to get in touch with your dealer so i hope that's uh, helped uh, just another little uh, snippet in the mg series and uh, i'll see you very soon for another review or another tip thanks for watching bye for now